Uh, but you know, when you get God knows how many hours of homework with our older one, <laughs> uh, pain in the ass. We're not gonna comment on the situation with Russia at all, so don't, don't even start. If you start something in the comments, you'll get a ban forever and ever, like I swear. Just do not. Greetings and salutations, my name is Oracult and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, you're very, very welcome. I hope you like it here. Stick around and subscribe to the channel and watch some other videos that I have plenty of on this channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for all your support. So today I thought I'd do a quick recap of, you know, what happened in 2023, high points, low points, all that sort of stuff, and also mention what we're looking forward to in 2024. So if we talk about the year that's been, we've done, you know, quite a few gigs, a few festivals, and quite a few videos, and we've had multiple life events happen here and there. So the definite highs would be probably the gigging and the new friends we've made, I think, this year, and also the fact that since I've been back, I've been managed to, you know, even see the people that I used to go to uni with, and, you know, we've been friends for 20 years now, and that's just amazing how we, we still laugh as we used to, and it's almost like that time hasn't even gone by, although everyone's changed and everyone has sort of different-ish, uh, well, different-ish lives to each other, but in, in general, people have moved on quite a bit in life, and it's just amazing how you can still have that with people and it's just amazing but you know the new friends that we've made is also really special because a lot of them are like into the same music and that's always you know a plus because you get to go to the same events and you know you kind of understand each other on that level so that's amazing as well it was really cool to have like my birthday and the karaoke session that we did i think everyone pretty much agreed that that was like a really special kind of evening and it's just really cool, like people sort of relaxed and just did what they wanted to do and it was just awesome. We've been to a few festivals, notably probably the best ones were we quite enjoyed the different events of the Goth Fest and that's on each year and it's just really really nice like there's a few gigs and there's a market and there's a picnic and there's just so many things to do that it's really hard to fit into that one weekend and then there's the of course the epic shore festival which we did we did a series on both the goth festival and the epic shore festival and i link them up here and down below as well uh, and they were just like mind-blowingly good that epic shore one just absolutely amazing it was an open Open air it was for you know two nights and it was just so good we really really enjoyed it and again the the amount of things that you could do there was just amazing and we're planning to go to that as well well probably to both of those in 2024 and they've just announced metal over russia for 2024 and we did a series on that in 2022 and again i'll link it down below because you can only link about five videos into one video so i don't think i can fit everything in so the, if, if it's not here it will be down below and that was like an epic fail really it still happened but it's just now anything around that festival everyone's kind of always gets excited anyway but we just don't know if it's gonna happen or not i hope it will i hope it will in some format because i quite enjoy those and i really want a metal festival like a proper one to take off here i really do and i'm kind of invested now because i said in 2022 if somebody doesn't make this happen in 10 years time i'm gonna have to do it myself and it's been you know a year and a half and i only have eight years left for someone to do it otherwise <laughs> to drop everything and actually do that so please make it happen properly uh, in 2024 thank you also the man had a pretty cool tattoo done in 2023 i'll put a picture up here for you to have a look he has a bunch of different viking sort of themed tattoos i can't remember what this is called i'll have to put it down below for you but uh, yeah it's all around the sort of that kind of mythology and also he's looking forward to getting that finished in 2024 because that's not quite done there's something that's gonna go on the other side of the leg as well and then move on possibly to the next one also We've done quite a few things in the country house, but we need to do more and we need to do repairs on everything. We need to do repairs on everything. The car is, we bought it quite old and it's still quite old, but it's running, so, you know, that's fine. But it's just like, there's all these 
tedious, tedious house things that you need to do. Yeah, there's just boring, boring life things that I don't even want to get into that we need to do. But I think, in, in general, I can't really overly complain. I think we've been pretty lucky with most things that we were doing and I'm just grateful that, you know, we, we're here, we've been here for almost two years now and for anyone who's from here and who's moved abroad, I don't think many people manage, even if they want to, to move back. It's just not something people do a lot. <laughs> it's not something people do a lot for various reasons, and one of them being it's really, really fucking hard. So we're still in shock that we've made it this far, and we're quite pleased with that, so that's another definite plus. Now for you know, the important things in life, <laughs> obviously music. Now, music-wise, I've just realized that whenever people ask me, like, I, I even started a metal club at work, and, you know, people say, ah, oh, I listen to this, I listen to that, I sort of start saying something, and then I realize I have absolutely nothing to tell them, because they wouldn't know a single freaking band I'm gonna talk about, because we've been listening to pretty much what would be internationally considered underground, which is New Zealand metal, that pretty much nobody knows outside New Zealand, regrettably. And then in here, because there's no international gigs, and, you know, we just go to local stuff, and again, we've got acquainted with the underground here. And again, you want to tell people, and then you're like, huh, how do I tell them? <laughs> like, they, they'd have no idea. And everyone's like, oh, and everyone's always younger than me now. And they're all like, oh, we listen to, I don't know, uh, Slaughter to Prevail. And I'm like, God. Or, ah, oh, Slipknot. It's like, oh, God. And yeah, th there's a few really good local goth bands uh, that, again, some of them people have mentioned to me even internationally, which is pretty cool. There's nothing you can really tell people that they would understand, especially speaking English and telling an audience that's never been here or, you know, in to New Zealand or whatever. And yeah, but you know, the, the usual, I guess, always applies, like, you know, the classics, we all listen to the classics and things like that. Everyone's like Sisters of Mercy and, you know, most people, I don't know, in the world of metal, like Metallica at some year. Uh, there, there's always that, but in general, it's really hard to, like, not sit here and talk for three hours about it without, you know, confusing people, so I just won't go into that too much, but I'm just gonna say the highlights of last year, and I'm not gonna be biased here at all, but I'm gonna say one of the local bands because, well, I kind of managed to... Uh, I don't know what to call it, really. I, I do some of the lyrics for them now, and it's really, really cool. I've never really done something like that before, and I just think it's amazing. I really like them. Like, I like them because they're, they're not as heavy as, say, the man likes. For me, that's, you know, the perfect heaviness. Uh, I love the vocals, I love the bass, I like everything, and it's a great experience for me, and I love going to their shows, and they're pretty cool guys, so, you know, it's just... Uh, yeah, I really love them, and they luckily, you know, they're local, so we can go to their shows and everything, and they don't, you know, do them too far away either, so that's good. And they're called Big Bad Bold, and I've done like a shit ton of videos on them, so I'll link that down here as well. And in terms of other stuff, fashion wise, I guess it won't be news to anyone that I still like Killstar although it's really hard to get for me and stuff like that, but, but what I'm looking forward to in 2024 and kind of dreading as well, I will be doing definitely a declutter because I can't fin fit stuff in anymore at all, so we're gonna have to do that. So that is going to be the big video to do next year, and we're also going to do another video next year, which is going to be the room tour, because we've been meaning to do that, but we just can't quite get there, because there's always something. There's either a pile of boxes here, and at the moment there's presents everywhere, and we just can't get to that. So we're gonna go into a long period of holidays now. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get through that, and maybe even do the declutter. I also remember that I owe a Barbie video, I know I need to do that, and again, that's probably gonna be done over the holidays, I hope, because I just can't seem to, like, get my shit together to do it. So that's another thing to look forward to in 2024. Apart from that, from our plans, maybe, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but we might 
manage to venture out of the country, maybe. I'm not sure about that entirely, because frankly, after the way we've moved here, the last thing I want to do, like, and wanted to do for the last two years, is people are complaining, because, well, we're not gonna comment on the situation with Russia at all, so don't, don't even start. If you start something in the comments, you'll get a ban forever and ever, like I swear. Just do not. But people find it hard to travel internationally and things like that for various reasons. It's not that much of a problem for us, but it's still, you know, expensive and annoying and all that. It's not even that. I just, after the way we've moved, I don't want to go on a plane. I just, like, I imagine packing and going to the airport and I'm just like, this is the last thing I want to do. So we only travel locally, we go to neighboring cities. And that, by the way, is another highlight for 2023, is we've done at least three, four. We've done four trips. We've done a New Year's trip just after New Year, where we went, it was like a train one for three, there was like two nights on a train. We went to see Father Frost in the north of Russia. And that was amazing. And then we went to a few towns in yeah. May. We went to Rizan mm -hmm. and to Kolomne, and we did a vlog of that. Then we went to Tver, we didn't vlog that. And then we went to uh, the festival not far from there, So, but we still consider it one trip because it's sort of around there. And then we went and we didn't vlog any of that. I think there's just a couple of pictures, but we loved it. Absolutely loved it. The city of Tula, bloody amazing. It's very close to where Tolstoy, you know, War and Peace and all that. Tolstoy, he had like his whole estate there. He was born there, he died there, he's buried there. And you just walk through and it's exactly almost like it was back in his day. It's just amazing. Like the tour was amazing. We found an English speaking guide, which was great. And everything, and it started snowing. It was beautiful. It was, you know, it was just really, really cool. Like that, that whole trip was very, very good. Um, so that's definitely a highlight and we'll definitely do more of that. Uh, there's so many towns to go to. Everything has either, this one even had like a Kremlin that was, you know, more or less intact, which is, you know, amazing considering the bloody Mongols destroyed pretty much everything back in the 13th century. Well, 12th, 13th, whatever. And um, yeah, so that, that was another sort of really cool thing to do. And I want to go to more, like we go to a lot of metal and some goth stuff, but I want to go to more classical things because there's so many... Like, there's so many classical things going on, uh, like ballet and opera, symphonies and, and stuff like that. And I just, like, when you prioritize things, that kind of always gets, ah, I'll always have time to do that. But no, no, like, I, I really need to go. There's a few ballet things that I really want to see. And yeah, so there's like just so many cultural things to do, which is really cool. Uh, but, you know, when you get God knows many hours of homework with our older one, <laughs> uh, pain in the ass. So yes, we like local travel quite a lot, and in 2024 we already decided that definitely around the May holidays that we have here, we're going to go to St. Petersburg with possibly even some friends of ours and friends of our children as well, because this is a family. We're gonna have this really cool trip and doing all the stuff you do in St. Pete's, which is absolutely insane. We'll definitely be vlogging that, because that sort of May-June period is really, really good there, and hopefully we'll get some amazing footage of all the palaces and fountains and things like that. The downs probably have been health-wise because everyone's been sick multiple times for various reasons and like the man's knee is still not recovered from when we moved here and he fractured that and has like multiple injuries on it. I've had a concussion uh, because I was sort of injured in an accident earlier on like in June and there's a court case and everything so I did a, like a few updates on that I'll link them down below if you want to um, sort of find out about that if you haven't heard those and the kids have been sick we've been to hospital with one of them with like a tummy thing and it was quite scary so and mom's done like a lot of things with like teeth related things and it's just like it, it just carries I need minor surgery for something that I'm never ever going to mention on this channel and it's just like a lot of illnesses here and there and actually winter hasn't even been the worst of it so that, that is something we're not hoping to see anymore in 2024 because it's just like it's never ending um 
So that was all for our highlights and low points of 2023 and what we look forward to in 2024. I hope you liked this video and do tell me down below in the comments what were your highlights and low points or you know what is it that you look forward to in 2024 and also potentially any resolutions that you've made. I'll be interested to hear about those as well but I hope you have a pleasant time of day wherever you are and greetings and salutations too.